Welcome back, everyone, to The Legend of Zelda. Laddie woke up on the wrong side of the catfish. <laughs> and, the, and the mermaid is still screaming. She'll get over it. Ah, walk it off. Oh, wait. Ouch. Harsh. Wow. Man, and in full... I don't view think that everyone. scream even came out right, but that's okay. Hey, maybe you can be like uh, the little mermaid who literally separated her tail into two legs and in a very painful, bloody process. I yes, can only imagine how painful Grim. that actually is. But that wasn't the original Grim Fairy Tale. It's fucked up. Yes, it is. It's almost like uh, it's hard of his body. Like oh, Grim, oh, I thought it was. No. I, I I forget his name, but it's, it's the Hans same guy that Hans Christian Anderson. Oh, That's it. oh, never mind. Either way, Grim and Hans Christian Anderson make fucked up stuff. Yeah, um, like Ariel felt like she was walking. What was it? Knives? Uh, yeah, yeah. Probably, it probably, it probably felt weird to her. But that being said, this is—is is this our like actual water temple now? Uh. Not really, no. Like, we've already dealt with our water temple proper last time. It's just that this one, well, is located literally somewhere within the middle of a river. Oh, okay. Oh, now, yeah. the the big gimmick with this dungeon is that there are, there are four points of interest that we're going to want to um, find. And there are, and you actually do need to find them in a certain order. If you actually look at the map, you'll know exactly... You'll, you'll see a little pattern that will indicate, like, which of the four... All right. You know, the order the four you should go through. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. So now and you may be wondering, why should we go through these points of interest? Well, a certain little somebody is, you know, on the prowl, and, well, we gotta take him out in order to beat this level proper. Interesting. Speaking well, of oh. the devil, here's one of our huh? four points of interest. Unfortunately, we're here a little too early. Oops. Okay, so go to the skull room a little bit later. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's in here. This is... Nope, just more river. Okay. More crystals. This also, dungeon... I'm just gonna, also Go gonna say real quick, um, mm -hmm. those moles with the uh, with the masks there. They're, they're uh, dongos. Are those not, dongos? Not the dongo. What, what are they called? They're like hel they're like helmets. Uh, hel something. Helmet helmosaurs. Helmosaurs. Thank, Thank you. you. Helmosaurs. Helmosaurs. Okay. Hel this is easily. I'm just gonna say this route right. I fucking hate the helmosaurs in Link's Awakening because yeah. they have are they are very deceptively like they. You can only hit them from behind. Nice job. Don't they home in on you in the original? Here, well, here's, you, you, okay, you, you, here's you should the thing. use a hook shot and pull their face here's off. The thing. Usually, oh, I geez. prefer Helmosaurs in uh, in Link Between Worlds because, well, I'm just going to say I don't like the. I, I said before, but I don't like the uh, the fact that this goes into the old eight point movement and all that. There's only oh, eight points, right. as opposed to free yeah. flowing movement, I... and the enemies are st <laughs> oh whoa oh. <laughs> Oh, that poor thing! He is stuck without a purpose. No. Oh. I actually prefer the ones in Twilight Princess because if you learn the backslash, Link can actually parry and uh, hit him from behind. Well, I, I meant to. I meant top-down Zeldas. Uh, I oh. yeah. Either way, the Hel Helmosaurs and Link's Awakening are fickle effects, primarily because yes, the eight-directional eight movement does not help, and uh, this. Uh, maybe we can. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, maybe that's not a good idea. We're backing up, backing up. Yeah, we need to come back. We need to get a new item. If I can give my own two thoughts on it, I think what also helps them being particularly <laughs> fickle in this game is that, like, sometimes it can be kind of hard to. Like, because of the way that they move, it's like they move inch, stop, and there's, like, no tell on which direction they're gonna turn. It's a little hard to predict what angle you should attack them from. Yeah. Right. As opposed to uh, in Link Between Worlds, where they do move kind of freely and just kind of come after you. Which, that right. makes them easier to deal oh, with. Oh, here we go. Our first point of interest, where we get to meet up with a giant Stalfos. Ooh. Hi. Where the hell am I? Where's my wife? But I, and I know, and I get it now, James. This one only has, this well. one has one. Oh, I wasn't designed well for this. Bob's away. I should have thought this oh. through. That's but I see how you, this works. That's the way you have to defeat Stalfos in general in Twilight Princess. They cannot be defeated without bombs. And a link to the past. Yep, link to the past. And I. Oh, jeez. But yeah, oh. I get it now. This one has one tile colored in, while that other one we in had all four. Yeah, you have in. to do that. Did in it order. sound like I said Twilight Princess? <sighs> ah, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Why are you Australian? Twilight Princess. Because I was thinking of <laughs> Wand of Gamelon when the Iron Knuckle dies. He's like. He's dead. Let's oh. get out of here. Oh, hey, look at that. A chest. What's in here? Wait a second. I've got what was inside what? this box. Oops. Yeah, come get it, punk. 
Devil hey. damn it. Wow. Stole your, stole your loot. Yeah, Pug stole our item for this dungeon. Well. And that's why we have to go to those four points of interest. Because that's there that's those are the points of interest points where you will have to find him and fight him, and hopefully by the time you beat him all four times, you'll actually get your prize. Okay, okay. so that's how we get the I key. Felt item. Sorry Understood. for that cheap cheap and how it died. He yeah. knew he knew it was coming to him. They were in the way. Yeah. He was oh, a no, mild that seemed, oh. that that attack seemed oh. pretty cheap cheap. Ow. You've already done you you've already filled up your cheap cheap quota last part of that. Shut Sorry. the fuck up. Yeah. That's a cool love. Uh, that's You cool don't understand. I will literally die if I don't make yeah, puns. I do like that. He has to know he's I fine, know, but I just now noticed. Puns. You're fine, man. You're that's fine. We're, better. we're just we're just pulling your chain as always. Potentially. Oh. What are the what things are called again? Things. I have no idea. Uh which things? The one that's on fire or the ones that aren't? Oh, the ones on fire are the anti fairies. Right, but yeah. things that die. Yeah, you deal with magic. You, you sp sprinkle magic powder on them, and they become normal fairies. Got yeah. right. Yep. Right, yeah, I don't know what those weird little spinny Ooh. dudes were. Also, crap. What's up? <laughs> there's a, that is one thing I will definitely say regarding this dungeon. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of dead ends in this place. Right, Yeesh. it's very open ended, but carefully. Would you say this is probably one of your least favorite dungeons in the game? It's. I wouldn't outright say it's my one of my least favorites. Like, I mean, by this point in the game, it does feel like it's the right it's like the right amount of difficult. But uh, but by the I, I guess I can spoil this much. Wait till you, we reach our second to last dungeon. That one can go right go fuck right off. All right. Noted. I'm not looking forward to that one then. But I just thought I'd I, ask since it seems like this one already has a lot of problems for you. This is definitely the I'm, one I. Go I will ahead. say for first timers, this one's not going to be fun at all because there is a lot of back and forth to be done. Yeah. And unless you know the, the whole gimmick of this place, that's pretty much all it's going to be a lot of back and forth. Oh, hey, bloopers. Hey. It, it, they're literally called stars. Also, can the I just stars? say, okay. I find it funny that the enemies that look the most accurate to their Mario counterparts are the bloopers in this game. Yeah. Well, the Chain Chomps, too. And the Chain Chomps. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the Chain Chomps, yep. Yeah. Also, that poor Goomba, he's just logging. Oh for... god damn it! Oh, yeah. Also, it's with that I realize, and it's also with that I realize what the item we're getting in this dungeon is. It's our lovable boing stick. But as you see here, like even here, like you have to do back and forth into a room just to reset it. You know, in uh -huh. retrospect, maybe I do hate this dungeon. I don't. You found me. You're a real pesky kid. You know that. I would just say that this dungeon is. I I remember it the least, which. I could see being frustrating because I yeah, would I completely get I would get turned about, around. I completely yeah. forgot about this dungeon, and now that I remember it, I fucking hate it. It's, yeah, it, it's it, 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 again, it's 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 mostly a pain for first timers. Like once you know the gimmick, it's not terrible, but it it, ah. it could be better. I'll agree. Ah. And that, and I will also say that this gimmick does sort of wear out its welcome by the third time you fight him. And you, you can't fight him four times. times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, actually, to comment real quick on what you were saying, on what you were saying, you, or, like you were voicing the guy, or he was like, "You're real, you're a real pesky kid." No, I'm Laddie. <laughs> Laddies can my, be kids my, too, you know. My name is Laddie. <clears throat> so, other than that, not much else said about this dungeon. I mean, the the biggest highlight of it is going to be the item we get because it'll, it'll be nice to get that. Honestly, back. I'm done, yeah. man. Hmm. Ow, ow. Ha. Get off, get off. That one was a stretch and was meant to be. I apologize, but I also don't. <laughs> there's sorry, there's no, a sorry. list somewhere. There's a list somewhere oh, it's fine. for puns that, like that. It's fine, oh, it's fine. I'm going to hell I don't, either way, so. Well, that's not really a guarantee. Yeah. But it's not like we won't know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so. Sorry, that um, was a reference. Can we make that? No, that's okay. No, that's a classic one. Oh, jeez. Think, and I'm assuming there is no way to kill those electric zaps. I believe there is, but you can with the boomerang. The boomerang. Honestly, you would think the magic powder, but yeah, it does nothing. Oh, that's that's why we the gate went open. That sneaky devil was on the other side. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it okay, was also we the fact that uh, now for fight number three. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, this ain't gonna get old anytime soon. Yeah, he he also has the same dialogue from what I've seen. Yeah, it's yeah, all it the is. Same That's what I'm trying to mix up. But I mean, just imagine if you will, just even one text bubble of him just actually being like, oh, like he like it's that freaking um, was it Pringus or was it um, no 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 it was um, 
Oh, what's the name of that guy who does all those, uh, yeah, yeah, see ya. What was the name of the guy who did those <laughs> animations where, like, it's like Speedrunner Mario through Mario 64 Terminal and Bowser's like, Terminal Montage, thank you. He's like, oh, I gotta get out. And he's like packing his bag, like, I still, yeah. I still think my favorite Terminal Montage stuff is his uh, Pokemon Battle Royales. They're so fucking mm. funny. Oh, like the, leg oh, the legendary yeah, the, one. The legendary oh, one, like, just like just the. Split into causal realities. Yeah, and then also I love, like, uh, how apparently in lore, um, every time. Mm. Uh, apparently, well, this is obviously mytho mythological base and all that. Let's do it. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, Matt. This is it. We're the final confrontation. Let's wrap this up. Also, they had the courtesy to actually, you know, make him just go- just shut the fuck up and fight. Just yeah. Stay out of here. I love how, apparently, in lore, uh, Entei, whenever Ow. he barks, a volcano erupts. I just love in the, uh, in the video, it goes, ba. Boom. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, oh, ba, 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 ba. And that's it. There you go, finally. Fuck off! <gasps> there it is, our trusty and lovable boing stick. Does it actually say boing? Ah, change such as Yeah, by this by this point, they more or less drop that whole thing entirely. Just call, just call it as it is, a hook shot. So I will ask, yay! So I'll ask, and you don't have to like. I, I know it's been kind of like an, uh, I know it's been an odd day, and there's nothing wrong. I was just curious, what uh, what would have happened if we went into any of these skull, these skull rooms? If, if, we, if we like walk into the center of the skull room and it wasn't the correct one, would just nothing happen? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened like earlier. earlier. Yeah, could you, yeah. I was like, I was like, could you imagine Woo! if it was like, oh, you went into the wrong one, start over? Yeah. Oh wow. So regarding the boing stick in this game, it more or less serves the same function as before. Use it to you know latch onto certain <laughs> objects in order to you know zip on, zip right to them. It has unfortunately seen a bit of a nerf since *A Link to the Past*, as it, in the fact that uh, it does it's. A decent enough stunning tool, but only selectively. Oh, I know. And even that then, I think only, I, it can only stun. Raw. But I was oh, gonna well. say, I guess that's hey, fair, especially because hey, as <laughs> at least it removes the helmets on those fucking things. And I was yeah. gonna say, like, and I was gonna say, like, regardless, like, I noticed that, like, I, I don't know if it, I don't know if Link to the Past had the same thing, but like here, its reach is pretty crazy long. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. it also helps too that for the most part, a Link's Awakening. Like in its original, in its base design was work really condensed. It could, it was well, yeah. Like all the all the areas of the game were huh. like they were all squares, and you know the uh, hook shot in and of itself could reach like to the very like from one end of the. Oh god, here we go. Oh, these buggers. This fight sucks. Well, do we have the bone arrow? Uh, yes, and you need to use the bow in order- or actually, I was about to say, you need to use the bow and arrow, but then I realized- oh wait, no, you can technically stun it once its eyes are open, and then, you know, do damage as normal, but, but the only problem is that, um, this is all RNG-based, like, sometimes they'll do that- they'll open up their eyes and attack, other times they'll just charge right at you, and if you have a run where that's, like, all they really do is do the- they run at you, this can take forever. Ah, uh, that's- Yeah, that... no, it's really fucking annoying. I remember hey, this, yeah. this took me up to 15 minutes because they wouldn't open their fucking minutes. eyes. Yeah, it was bad. They wouldn't open Goodness. their fucking eyes at all because it was RNGs just went, <laughs> nope. Anyway. What's up, type? I was just, um, if I'm allowed to, I kind of wanted to rewind back to when we were talking about Terminal Montage because, like, I've been enjoying, like, for some reason I've been kind of rewatching their Yoshi Story one because I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I like mm -hmm. my favorite being like, the page won't turn. The page will not turn unless I permit it. Turn the page. No. <gasps> that nice was a fun one. There. I still love their Yoshi's Island one. Um, Just, the Mario. What are we going to do? -do? <gasps> that might work. Wait, I, I still all. <laughs> hold on. Uh, in the um, in the legendary battle, I still also like the uh, like they're translating one of the Pokemon. So just one of those like. Translation. You I'll will all back. wait. Translating. Right. You will all face the pain of my terrible blade. <laughs> also, oh, okay. So those new hook, there's no uh, those new hookshot targets are interesting. But I, I see, I see the hookshot like silhouette in the symbol. Mm-hmm. And with that in mind, I forgot a key. Ah. Oops. Uh. Back it up. All right. Oh, look at that handy dandy. Uh, can you Not also use king. the hookshot to get that thing you that's flowing over there? You usually have to jump for those, I thought. No, you have to jump. Oh, well. Ah, fair. There's the little there trick I was missing. You finally found it, says the game. 
You know, I could totally imagine at some point Link or Laddie could just fashion out all these keys into a necklace. <laughs> if you want to. Key it's to, that or key like... Key to my house, key to my car, key to my heart. Oh, Why did I think I'm that was a good idea? Gorge. Out of here. There also, there's I almost forgot one other vital thing. Well, we got the map, we got the compass. What are we missing? The dungeon. My pants! Did you say your pants? I mean... Oh, so that's what Laddie's pants were. At <laughs> this time, in Catfish's <laughs> mall. It was, oh, it was in his... All along. Oh, wait, did I say that out loud? <laughs> so you're saying, like, if the pants are in his all this time, all this time, and he's been running around with nothing covering his buck? Also, for those... Oh, oh. So, you are the outsider. Come to wake the weed fish. <laughs> I shall eat you. Yeah, huh? I, I mean, no, huh? No, 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 don't I, eat me. Whoa. Honestly, I would have given him uh, a pause voice. Is this like Moldorm's evil brother? Something like slime that. Eel. It's a slime eel. eel. And I call him Slimeel. And Slimeel. Slimeel. And to those wondering, uh, yes, that Moldorm's evil brother. And Moldorm's already evil to begin with, so, I mean. <laughs> yeah, this one's eviler, but it's also a bit more pathetic. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, I see. So, one thing I will definitely say regarding this boss's design. The, the way its lips are fashioned, along with its eyes, is it gets, it, it's it's very unsettling. It's Wasn't creepy, that the point? and I think deserves a higher age rating than what this game came up with. No okay, shit! Not that bad. <laughs> Look at that, dude! Like that is. Oh wait, now that I think about it, yeah, no, that that's. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there oh, you go. Yeah. It's kind of. It's On kind this of episode of Laddie. Oh, hello. oh, jeez! It's a fake. Oh, so if you can the eyes. And let those ones go and not grab them. Right. Oh, of course, don't get too close to them when they explode. Oh, oh. So, do you mean you gotta keep an eye on that? On the eyes, yes. yes. Just let them do their normal nibble. But yeah, I was about to say earlier, on this episode of Laddie's Awakening, ah. uh, Laddie is going, going to fight the Nexus. Ha! And... We're close. But yeah, no, otherwise, oh, Slime Eel's pretty oh, pathetic. Oh, okay. Tsk, tsk. You don't seem to know what kind of island this is. No, <laughs> what a fool! Look, were you not... <laughs> I was gonna say, were you not listening to the conversation we had? Uh, no. Oh. Ouch! And for those wondering why that made dolphin sounds earlier, that's why. <laughs> I was gonna... Oh! And I was gonna say, please be. I was gonna say, careful, dude. Your throat. I tried. Oh. So, unfortunately, the late Seaweed's gonna have to miss out on our epic xylophone skills. Wait, what do you mean? The Glockenspiel. Oh, I missed the boss. Oh, speak of the devil. I, 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 I actually... Miss the marimba! <sighs> the wind marimba. Is it sad that I didn't know she left? No, she said she had the BRB. I but... did say that. I must have not heard it. Hey, the marimba actually sounds like a marimba! Unlike the other Ooh. instruments. Oh yeah, the harp. Yay, yeah. synthesizers. What's today's hit, Mr. Uh, Windfish, sir? Shrine. Wrong game. <laughs> we go to those Shrine later. In secret in the shrine. We, we go to those. We go to those in a later game. Far into the future. Not this time. There is one in a game sooner than that. Ah, uh, that's fair. All right. So now that we honestly, I need to get back to playing that game myself. Yeah, but go yeah, but go ahead, James. So yeah, now that we got our lovable boing stick, let's go ch ch let's go find the shrine that the old voice in my head is uh, referring to. All right then. Just got. Oh and oh and oh and um, also now that we do have our boing stick, it also does open up a bit more of the island. So probably would be in no better time than any to go you know hunting for seashells and you know oh, checking up on the mermaid again. Oh, she's hanging in there. How are you? Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Friends once asked me to pose for him. And he wanted to scale too. An artist? Can the legend of the magnifying lens be true? Also, duck. Ow! Ow. <laughs> Hold on, honestly, when that thing was just like fireball, to whom it may concern. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it shouldn't concern me, but I hey, get you, it. Yeah, you, go might, to... you might want to look up behind you instead of talking to me. I duck. don't know what you're talking about, Lassie. Nah, he says, she says, duck. Link pulls out his sword. Where? Also, this is a much <laughs> more convenient way of stunning those fucks. 
That's fair. Oh, actually, I just realized, James, we're right by Animal Village, where we should be going. That's correct, because we have some bombs on me. I will say bombs, also, and also, and remember she rock. said that... I will say that, and remember she said there was an artist who wanted her scale? Right, the uh, rock, the, uh, the the weird crocodile artist brother. Aye. But I, wonder how his brother, I wonder how his banana brother's been doing lately. Ah, uh, he's been up to I, his old tricks again, and... I, I oh, hear he was having a hard time dropping his potassium addiction. Curses. More, he, no, he more, no, no, more like, more, more like he suffered withdrawal from doggy treats. Oh wait, okay, I see. We don't have to give it to the artist. We just put it on his statue he made. Right, and now this mermaid statue is complete. The hell? Oh. Ooh. Huh. This is interesting. What was he hiding? Well, Ooh. what the? Oh, what the? Oh, what the, what the hey. hell? What, what hit you? Just hit me. There's invisible back away, you back away, you invisible slime balls! Oh. I'm gonna go grab me the lens of truth. That's right. This the, the lens of truth started with this game. Sort of, but here it's called the magnifying lens. Basically, with it, uh, invisible enemies now become visible. Uh, is it just like a? Is it like an always on passive, or do we have to have it equipped? Oh, it's always on. You don't have to worry about it, equipping it or Thank you know, God. having it run on magic power. Yeah. Oh, oh there, there they go. were. Those all. are the there shits that have been, been you know, <laughs> harming us. <laughs> Well, oh, they get, the guy's dancing along with you. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there's a, they're supposed to be the guys that that, 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 make you, that mirror your movements. They look like those freaking. Uh, they look like the Just Cappy Town residents. They it's funny you like bring Cappians. that up because I was thinking of Waddle Dee. Said, uh, "Hello, sir." Oh! Uh, ah! What are you looking at with that left magnifying lens? Eh? Stop it at once! Well, how? What? What are you talking about? It's in my eye. I'm honestly not sure. I wonder if I can use it through use it to look at the hippos. No, boys. no. Get out of here, pervert. We have with though we can use it to you know uncover the... invisible characters like this Zora here. Hey, hey. hey you ain't supposed to be here. Hey, you must have a magnifying glass. That's not how these work. I'm not a troublemaker. I just want to live in peace. I'm not like my uglier brothers. I'll give you this if you promise to keep your devil lamb mouth shut. It's oh, a secret to everybody. So yeah, that's what it should have been. That well. <laughs> I mean, appropriate because it's a secret seashell. A promise is a promise. Okay. <laughs> Just now leave me to my secret path time. You know you should enter the cave at Tarumbo Shores. Use the glass there, and you'll find someone else like me. Uh, oh okay. yeah, that one place I uncovered by accident. I'll tell you something useful. Well, I already did. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you something useful. Get lost. <laughs> no, I'll tell. Hey, I'll tell you something useful. Your flies open. What? Also, Jokes on you. I don't have pants. Remember? Aha. Uh -huh. I have no <laughs> idea how I got here. <laughs> and you want to know this? You want to know the weird twist of it all? The only reason why we didn't see any pants on Laddie is because they too were invisible. Hmm. Now get snow. I guess glory. you could say is pretty tight window. Hmm. I'll go to also, hell. Hello? What the? Oh! I don't think. Wait, well, okay, it just reached. So this is pretty much a two-step process. First, you gotta blow. You gotta blow up that rock with a bomb. Secondly, right. you gotta come back with the boing stick. Yes, because mm -hmm. the boing stick can embed into uh, freaking the the, the the smaller boulders. And yep. our running shoes I... can only help us so far. And with that, we got ourselves another piece of heart. I forget if we're going for all twenty of these. Oh, Lord Almighty, no. I don't think this game... I don't think that kind of <laughs> commitment is necessary in a game like this. Yeah. I, I'm, right. I'm one of those weirdos that tries to 100% the game, so... Yeah. I mean, if you, I mean, hey, you do you. It's just that I feel like it comes to a point where I have to, where I have to tell myself, I think I can live through this with this many hearts. Um, I mean, it's solid insurance. It's why I am incredibly annoyed by Breath of the Wild. Don't get me wrong. I love the game. I truly do. But I fucking hate that the count harder, that the heart, sorry, the heart counter. The counter. Shut the fuck up. The heart it counter. It happens to me too, it's okay. <laughs> the uh, heart counter isn't even on both the top and the bottom. Hmm. Although I guess yeah. I do want to ask for the sake of conversation, James. In your personal opinion, do you think there is a Zelda game that you would bother going out of your way to get all the heart containers for? I'll have to get back to you on that because right now I can't think of, think of any off the top. Of my head. Honestly, for me, okay. breath, uh, for me, Link Between Worlds. Also, hello. Hello. It's it's a doggo. It's a weird looking Goraya. That's a Goraya. Yeah. What? 
And I, fa I found a good item washed up on the beach. I'll trade it to you for what you have in the X or Y button. Okay, so pay heed to this. Whatever you have on the X or Y button, you can trade to him for a special surprise. But uh, basically, don't trade with any of the good, the, the really good items. What you? Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Whatever. Could you accidentally trade the ocarina? Deck? I don't think you could trade that. No. Okay. What you want to trade is the shovel. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. But I meant to do that. Come on. Can, can we actually trade back for our item if we ever want to? Okay. Let's do it. If you want the item you traded me again, oh, okay. come back. Answers my question. Okay, so you can't get it back. Now, in the original game, you traded in the shovel for the boomerang, and that's pretty much how, how it settled. If you, there was any other point you need the shovel, come back to it and trade it for it. However, this game made an additional little uh, something that makes the whole process a little, you know, easier to manage. Uh -oh. And, you know, requ require less backtracking, because you can buy back your shovel. Oh, thank show you. Show you your shovel. Hey. Oh, Otter's 300 rupee sound. I'm not gonna lie, when you threw the boomerang out the door, I was half <laughs> expecting it to not come back. Yeah. Right, all you, all you hear, yeah, and all you hear is just, and all you hear is just, <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob, you're gonna pay for that. We have both our shovel and the the magical boomerang, which in this game is fucking disgusting. Anyway, yeah. uh, please don't throw away my boomerang, or do I guess? <laughs> Doesn't really matter to me. I'm, I'm the one with all the rupees now. I'm rich. Have a good day. Anyway, uh, again, I think a link between worlds is arguably like one of the better games you should go after all the hard. It's games. definitely easier to do in there, yes. Except for the baseball game. Except for the fucking baseball game. Thank you for reminding me of that bullshit. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. I had oh, to. Oh, I hate but, that. And believe you me, and don't worry. I made sure to share. I did make sure to show that game off at one point or another. Good. I mean, I'll say it. Before we end off, I'll say that's kind of the reason why when we get around to doing Wind Waker and and the other games, like. I'm not going to go for... I love Wind Waker, but I'm not going to go for everything, everything for the sake of a yeah. conjure, just because we would be there for a while. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's just... There's too much in Wind Waker to grab. Honestly, I'd say show it, but just clip sh clip show it. But I, I don't, I'll figure something... But I mean, because you have to go through all of these different... You got to go through the submarines, to all the platforms, to... It's like, there's a lot, but... Yeah. Treasure charts and stuff. Yeah. Just, yeah, no, when it comes to the Zelda games in general, like, I can't think of a single one where it's like, well, assuming you're the, unless you're the type that really does want to go for everything, there's never really a need to go for everything, and, I mean, it's no different here. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, okay. stay tuned as we potentially see where we truly are in these neck of the woods. Oh, well, alright then. Bye. Bye. Bye.